And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, fuzzy pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. I'm going to check out this brand new Boss Fuzz today. Yes. This is the FZ1W. Yes. Frank Zappa's first was a pedal. Sure. Yes. Is it? Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a big thank you to Ed and everyone at Boss here in Australia lied. for sending this out to us. Uh, we're lied. hilarious, I know. You lied. Uh, I lied, yeah, I always lie. Uh, yeah, so the FZ1, it's their uh, kind of latest was a thing and the first was a pedal. It's not uh, like a recreation with added benefits, but it's yep. its own thing. Like putting all this effort into crazy new digital um, technology. This is going back to analog land so the so the story goes mm. as the boss guys were working on the tone bender one which mm. everyone bought and now sells for 60 times as much as they bought it for um they kind of kind of went down that sort of pigeonhole of uh, analog um fuzzes recreating old and ye olden style uh fuzzes and they came up with this circuit and this is a, like a, a a new version of an old circuit kind of thing there you go. There was a version, <laughs> uh, and it's it's paying homage to uh, all, ye oldie style fuzzers. Fuzz. Hence them calling it the FZ one. So it's, there was never an FZ one before. It just went from two, three, f and five. So it controls are pretty straightforward: level, gain, and tone. Yep. It's very hard to see on this angle because it's glary. And there is a switch from vintage to modern. Vintage to modern. Uh, and as far as I can tell, so the, the difference between vintage and modern is a slightly different voicing. There's silica, yep. It's a silicon fuzz. Um, uh, on vintage, it's a bit less gain, a bit more like a vintage style, 60s style fuzz. And the tone control, uh, as you turn it up, it, uh, it adds highs and rolls off bottom end. As you turn it down, it rolls off highs and adds bottom end. Uh, on a modern setting, it's more just like a tone treble control. Like it's mostly the treble, but leaves the mids alone, mids and lows alone. There you go. And you get more gain. It's so pretty straightforward control wise. Yeah. Well, uh, please hit like and subscribe on the channel. Ding the notification bell. Give us a thumbs up and comments and questions below. Yes, please. Uh, um, I think yo. we will very shortly, we will do a shootout with mm. that, the FZ2 and FZ3. Sweet. We need a two W. Sorry. We need the two W. Two W. When it well, the two that I think that's what a lot of people were hoping that it would be, but it's not the two W. It's <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, Ed sent me a picture of just saying FZ. He said, "Oh, there's a new pedal," and it was just kind of cut off with the FZ. And I said, "Wow, an FZ two W." And he goes, "No." <laughs> I'll, just, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get a pen. <laughs> so the setup today is going through the Mostronic amp switcher into Andrew. a Cherry Tone OTS Mini Twenty Set Clean Racing Stripe, and there's two notes: Torpedo Captor X. Do the IRs now. Dion. Clean tone. Do you want to start? Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm on. And any reverb you're hearing is from the Captor X. Uh, okay, so let's start everything at 12 o'clock on a vintage setting. <coughs> and I'll just muck around. There's a lot of volume on there as well, yep. so uh, and that's done on purpose so you can actually boost the front end of your amp and introduce a little bit of fuzz. It's also meant to be very um, pick dynamic, yeah. So, uh, but turning down the volume, you can really clean it up like a lot of the ye oldie style fuzzes. The only difference is you have a built in buffer, and because you have a built in buffer, you can put it after things like wires and stuff mm -hmm. like that, which you couldn't do with old fuzzes. So, it's like modern features in an old kind of style fuzz sure should we try the backing off the tone okay so i've got uh, i'll put the fuzz in full
cool. Let's go, let's go. And then back up to full. Should we quickly try it with mini humbuckers? Do it. It's exactly the same setting. So this is uh, my Revolta uh, Mondata VIII 8 um, with the three mini humbuckers. And if I'm on a bridge pickup, let's go bridge pickup with an E chord, it sounds like this. Same settings. It does clean up very well. And it retains the highs, which is nice. It's a cool stereo image actually too. That sounds really good actually, I really like that. Do it's exactly the same sound with the P90s. Actually, here in the room, maybe if you can listen to this with like stereo headphones or good speakers, because a great um, stereo yeah. image with the delay as well in stereo. It's, it's not particularly loud in here today, but it's big. Like, it's big. Yeah, it sounds massive. Ford. Let's quickly try again exactly that, just in a vintage setting before we go to the modern setting. So this is my Jamaskis Squire, but it's tuned to C standard, so it's low. Uh, and with fuzzers, I think a lot of times you need the lower you go, the better. Is that right? Yeah. Low, 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 you go. Especially with a low tune guitar, it reminds me of that spaghetti western Damn. kind of vibe. Yeah, sounds really really cool. Uh, let's just quick just with a, on a video setting. Let's just gun it.
became so much smaller without the delay. I'm just going to turn the delay on. People will whinge, but I turn it back on again. It's, uh, it sounded great. Sounds so good. <laughs> that's really cool. I re that's a great combination, I reckon. But, the low tuning yeah. with that kind of really splattery kind of 60s fuzz it's like with the, that delay. The big tail that kind of didn't know what to do. Is it <laughs> imploding on itself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's only halfway through it. Now halfway through it. Okay, so now uh, let's go to the let's go to the modern setting. So as soon as you go to the modern setting, uh, the gain go. changes, so you have more gain. You still have lots of volume on tap, but... Uh, and now also the EQ changes. So the EQ goes rather than doing a tilt thing, where you you have it gets rid of highs and adds lows, and the opposite end it gets rid of lows and adds highs. It's just a high. It's basically low pass filter kind of thing. So it retains the mids and bottom end. Hmm. Do you want to start? Sure. You're playing a guitar with P90s, but it's it's definitely more mid forward. That sound, sure, I find yeah. already without really doing much to it. It's it's more mid forward. It's great rock and roll. It's a good yeah. sound, yeah. You have a spin on your um, low tune guitar. Pretty guitar. Okay, and I'm very color coordinated today. The other one's kind of white and gold too, isn't it? Wow. That was unintentional, but yes. Okay, so this is uh, same setting, just a G chord. <laughs> talked about this before fuzz makes me shuffle yep <laughs> Almost gets a bit after sort of nine o'clock ish. Oh, so it's three o'clock ish. It gets almost a bit blown out. It's much clearer. Now. About there, it starts getting kind of blown out, which is a sound in itself, but.
Right on. We have to get some humbuckers. Yes, and I'm going to grab mini humbuckers. Since you've been doing stupid game, I might do low game. <laughs> it's, I, like, I kind of like the way it collapses on itself, that, that fuzz. It's a cool sounding fuzz. The volume boosted a little bit. That kind of yeah. made it bigger. That sounds really cool. Uh, yeah. Let's turn it off for a second. Let's go mini humbuckers quickly. Right on. Uh, see what that sounds like. I'm doing it again. Even that as well. So I went to the two, <coughs> that's sort of in between with the two. <coughs> yeah. Rolling it down went really quite clean. Cool, huh? Yeah. Tried just um, with a strat because someone will like that. Okay. Oh, and what kind of a strat is that there, Alex? It's a sire thingy. Oh. It's going to be lacking with that delay now. Okay, I put the delay. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> you know what? At that the modern fuzz at the lower settings, it's almost distortiony, like overdrive or distortion. It's almost not fuzzy. Yeah, it's kind of like. I don't know if this will make sense, but you know how like a distortion plus is to an overdrive. This is kind of that, that to a fuzz. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sort of. I think, I think this could be a fuzz that people that don't necessarily like fuzz like. Um, I mean, the vintage setting is definitely a vintage fuzz. The modern setting is sort of that line between yeah. distortion and fuzz. So maybe that's like a, a, a gateway drug yeah, for drug. fuzz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What do you guys think? Comments below. Yeah. Do you uh, dig the number one? I like it. I definitely think it'll be interesting to see it too. We'll do, uh, it'll be coming up very shortly. We'll do a shootout between mm. the one, the two, and the three. Um, the five um, is a little bit different again, mm. and that's a digital one as well. Um, I think one, two, three will be interesting. They're sort of the three main ones now. Yeah. So we'll do a shootout that are coming very soon. It definitely can't get quite as uh, as the two. Sure. It sits somewhere sort of in between the two and the three, I think. Stay tuned. Oh, subscribe for that. Please do, yes. Uh, but 90% of you people that watch yes. this, you, I'm looking at you, are not subscribed to this. So if you like what we do, please make sure to subscribe because it does help. If you like cool videos and a handsome, please subscribe. And a handsome. Oh, he's talking about me, yeah. No, I meant them. <laughs> Sweet talking. <laughs> cool. Um, uh, and big thank you once again to Ed and everyone yeah. at Boss Australia for sending this out to Thanks, us. Thanks, mate. Ed. Um, it's very cool. Yeah, and uh, stay tuned for some more videos with uh, yeah. the FZ or FZ, depending on where you are in the world. One W. Thanks for sticking around. There's links below to podcast and socials. Please check them out. We'll see you soon. Bye.